everyone and welcome to this new video. It's been so long, I'm sorry. I had a few issues. Well, first I went on vacation and I was planning on making a video there, but my computer died and since then my computer is dead. So now I'm on my old computer that has four gigabytes of RAM. So that's great. As you must have seen in the title, today is a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away three things. First, some smooth zooms. Second, a text effect with blur going across the text. And lastly, a text effect with the bar going across the text. So we're gonna start with the smooth zooms. So if it's not working, you can just like make a random effect like this, and then you look for it in your computer and you'll find the place where you're supposed to put them. So now that they're here, they can appear here if I look for smooth, they'll show up. You can also go in here in custom effects and they'll show up as well. Even if I remove this. So now I need some clips to show you. Um, one second. I will now show you how to use it. So in this case here, I'll take a part of the first clip, put it on the timeline, and then a part of the second clip, and also put it on the timeline. I know I'm original. Um, it's quite short, the first one, I'm gonna make it a bit longer. So first you need to go where it changes and you'll go 17 frames back. Then you can cut it here. And now I will show you the zoom out, since we're inside the water and we're going out of it. So I'll take zoom out one and drag it on here. You have to make sure that the keyframes are okay. If they're not, cry, because I don't have a fix for you but it should be working okay. Um, we're cutting it here so that the keyframes align right, because else they would be at the beginning. For the second part, it's not as um, necessary, so I'll just take zoom out two and drag it here, and it will look like this. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you in real time because um, I have a very slow computer right now. And then we will zoom in. So I will take the same clip because I'm poor in clips right now drag it here and same i will go 17 frames backwards and i will cut it here so i can remove the effects from the other one um oh by the way i forgot to mention there's a random basic curves you can remove it it's just here because i needed to save it as a stack because it doesn't work if you save it as as an effect like the keyframes don't work right but as a stack it worked so you have a random basic curve this free um, so here in the second part, I will drag uh, zoom in one. And here you have to make sure that the keyframes are right again. You can remove the Bezier curves. Again, we went 17 frames back because it needed to align right with the keyframes. And then for the second part, I will also go 17 frames. And this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17. I can't count in English. And then I will take zoom in two and make sure that the keyframes are all nice. So as you can see here, it's only one speed. If you want it slower or faster, you could move the keyframes. Um, but I did find that this speed was pretty nice, so you can do whatever you want with this. Um, you can move them all, like one frame, but you should try to keep the same spacing between them. Like, if they all space two, then they have to all be spaced one, or like, all be spaced three or something. Okay, so this is the first effect. I hope you're happy, because this one was really requested. So the second thing I'm gonna give away are text effects. So this um, is a bit complicated, it's in the library. So same, you have to download them and put them in, in pretty much the same place, except this time, instead of putting it in effect, put it in library. One thing though, as I was recording this, I realized that they only work with 25 FPS, but there's a way. So here, if you have 24 FPS, it's perfect. You can just use the ones I gave you. If you don't, here's what you have to do. You have to make a new project. So I already did it for one, so I will do it for the second one. Then you will add this to your project. Then you can just drag it onto the timeline. You have to insert a track because it's big so that you can expand it. Timeline, current clip, expand clip. And then it will show up like this. So this is the effect. Um, you could even change it if you want. You can do whatever you want. And right now the problem is that we have to save it 
in another profile. I've noticed if you try to change the profile while the library clip is here, it won't work. So you have to remove it. Then you go to project, project settings, and go to 24 FPS. Okay. It says something, you say yes, then you call it whatever you want. I'll just call it sup because I'm gonna suppress it after. So before you save it again, you have to make sure that your composition tracks are on something because else it will not work. They will just disappear. I don't know why, but make sure they are, are all on automatic in this case here. Or you can put whatever, but you have to make sure that they are on something. And then you can save it like a regular library effect. So here you go here and you name it bar 24 in my case. You can name it whatever you want, of course. And it's all good and dandy. And you can open back your giveaway well, or whatever your thing is. And now it will be here and it should be okay and work. So let's import bar 24 by clicking here. Yes, we import it. It's working. This is great. Then I'm gonna need some more tracks again. So I'm gonna need m two more in this case here so that I can expand it. So then I go to timeline, current clip, expand clip. And it will open and everything should be good. You have to make sure this is on V2 in our case here, that it goes on the text. And then the last one needs to be on V2 as well, actually. So if you're not really into the colors I have here, which I think don't go with my video here at all, you can go here and you can change whatever you want. So here I'll write something else. I'll write like, I don't know, water. I know I'm so original what, what I write every time and I'll make it bigger like actually I write ocean to change it a little yes and I'll put it bigger like 500 and I'll center it I do love this font so I'll keep it and I'll put it in like a dark blue like this okay and I'll update the title then if I go here it will show up uh, as different and I can also change the color of the bar. And so I have a beautiful thing that says ocean now. Um, this one is red, it can be any color, it doesn't really matter. So if your thing doesn't seem to work, make sure that you do have the right composition tracks here. So yeah, I won't be able to play it because it's freaking slow, but uh, you'll see the thing in the end. I just realized as I was editing this, that I forgot to mention that you can just uh, also add a composite or a composite and transform effect here and make this whole thing move. Um, so if you want to put it in the corner, for example, you can. You can just you can just add a transition under and then put it wherever you want. Now for the second one, it is in the library, sorry, and it's blur. And I also made it a 24 version, so I'll open it. Okay, I'll put it back here because it put it in the folder and I don't really want it there. And I'll drag it onto my timeline. And here it's going to be kind of the same thing. I select it, I expand it to be able to modify it. So I can just remove the gray. Uh, I had to have it here because else I couldn't save the, both of the transitions. Okay, editing me again. I'm sorry, I just relayed this again. Uh, you shouldn't shorten this, you should lengthen this. Because um, I also made it disappear and I don't know why it's shorter, but it also works like the, the keyframes are still here and everything. So if you have this kind of problem, just make it to the full length. I'll lengthen this a little so that we have some room. And I'll put it all down. And you should have the first one on V1 and the second one on V2. Well. No, the first one should be on your main clip and the second one should be on the first of the, on this one. And same here, you can go into here and change this to whatever you like. If your text is white, you have to change the rectangle in the back to black and change the compositing here in both of them to screen. And then everything should be okay. So here is what everything looks like in the end. I'm sorry this was quite long actually even to explain how to use what I've made, 
but uh, there's not really a way to make it really really easy to use you still have to like learn how to use the effect so i hope you liked it and i'll try to be more present again uh, i do have a video that i that i already recorded and i haven't edited yet but um but yeah this should be coming soon and i have more coming bye bye I will do some. S I will. Sh I will show you both of them. I will know how. I will now show you how to use it. So.